I'm Josie Foster and I run a company called Furnishing Studio. Please refer to the website if you want to know more. Here is a guide to soft furnishings. How to make a cushion cover. Cushions are very decorative in a room. There are loads of styles. You can make a cushion cover virtually out of anything. However, it's a good idea to remember that cushions are sat on, they're used, um, and to make them look good for a, a certain length, a decent length of time, you want to use a fairly nice fabric. Um, curtain fabric's brilliant. Velvets, absolutely excellent. Any upholstery fabric will do very nicely. So I'm going to make, a, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple cushion cover with a zip in it. And we've already cut out a 16 inch cushion cover, which you would want to put an 18 inch cushion pad in. It's a good idea to make a put a bigger pad in so that it keeps its shape for longer. And the first thing you do is with the selvage edge, iron the edge flat so that you can stitch a zip into that edge. Here's a cushion where I have done exactly that. I have stitched one into this cushion cover and that was the first thing I did when I made it. So, once we've got the zipped side in, we then stitch the other side on top of it. And we put the two right sides together. Make sure the corners are in the right place. Pin them together. on the corners and it's, you'll have to use a piping foot here because you've got the other side of the zip to contend with so you stitch along the other side of the zip and then all the way around the other three sides leaving the end of the zip open you then click the end of the zip in which can be a bit fiddly Make sure the left hand tooth on the zip is the one that's the highest and that normally makes the runner click in very quickly. And then you click that in and then you actually open the cushion up to be able to turn it into its right side mode and then you can actually double stitch the edge and give it a nice edging. If you're going to put a piping in, you actually stitch the piping into the seam before you stitch it all together. And that is how you make a plain cushion cover.